Hi guys, good afternoon. This is Arlene from the Philippines and as you can see I'm outside today because I'm checking a one hectare farm here in San Antonio Quezon which is approximately three kilometers away from San Antonio town proper and this property has a lot of fruit bearing trees namely coconut trees, avocado trees, lanzones trees, uh, banana trees and a lot of uh, black peppercorn so this property has really lots to offer aside from the fact that it has a mountain view and you have access to a clean river so let's check the property okay so this is the barangay road okay leading the, to the property and as of now it's not yet cemented but there's already a plan for uh, the building of barangay road here and it is called inner barangay road because from here up to the main barangay road it's approximately uh 500 no i'm not mistaken uh 300 meters away okay and this property already on the left is already sold we were able to sell this property to a very good client of us okay and this property is the 5900 square meter is still available and this is the one hectare property so as you know a lot of people here in san antonio quezon uses natural borders for the fence in their property so this is a uh, morado we call it morado and this is the starting point of the property okay and up to this point so the frontage of the property is 60 meter long so let's check it first okay so i'm very sorry about this because um the road looks muddy because it's been raining the last few days but the good thing is you can still park your car here because it's not that uh slippery so the property is up to this point let me walk through it So the property is up to this point. So you can see the Murado over there. Okay. So that is the frontage of the property. And let's go inside. So over here already you can see there's a lot of coconut trees in the area and according to the seller uh, he is earning minimum 1500 pesos in a week therefore let's say for 12 months he is earning 60,000 pesos only for the coconut trees so we're gonna go on that side first because we want to see what's on this side and when it comes to banana trees he said it's not uh that uh much profitable because there are not so many banana trees but every month he is earning minimum 500 pesos okay so over here you can see already the murado plants so it's going straight down here so we will just follow this path okay and of course it has a lot of this that is an avocado tree and uh, the last two years he is earning minimum 50,000 a year alone for the avocado trees so he said there are at least 100 avocado trees in this area so generally speaking we can say that this property is avocado slash coconut farm So we are quite lucky because this property is uh, is maintained so there are not so many tall grasses here and we have as well here jackfruit that is nice so i think it's close to getting ripe so look at that one it is damaged and coffee trees as well oh nice that's already the second jackfruit tree and again avocado tree so it's perfect i really love avocados you know 
I'm not sure it, if I'm pronouncing it right, but I think other people called it guacamole or something. You know, with a with a spread in the morning. And of course, there is already water and electricity in the area. And if you want to have internet connection, that is not a problem. We can get internet connection for you by a private service internet provider. Okay. So up to this point, actually, the property is flat. And now... And now it's going a little bit slope because we are going down to the river. And of course, as I promised, you have the mountain view over there. That is the mountain. That is the back of Malarayat Mountain in Lipa City. And look at this. It's all filled with fruit bearing trees. I love this property. So before we go into the river, let's check first what are the hidden gems in this property. And I found this one. I love it. We call this black pepper corns, guys. So as you know, it's very expensive in the market. I think what 400 pesos a kilo. And I'm checking the coconut trees here in the area. They are still young, so it means that these trees can really provide a lot. Okay. So here. We are coming to the border of the property on the right side. So because, uh, you know, they are using this Murado plants. So this is the Murado plant. So just go straight up, up to the road. That is the border here on the right side. So it's really filled with fruit bearing trees. That's nice. So let's go down. Alin ang daan? Pailog? Okay, so we will trek into the river. So see if I can go there. I think I have to take off my shoes. Yeah, I better take off my shoes because this one is slippery. Aling way? Ito? So, aling kuya, ito? Oo. Hindi, ang sabihan? Ang papunta sa ilog. Yo, ilang... Aling ang daan? Oo. Hindi, basta dumaan dyan, wala namang kunyan na eh. Okay. So, let's check. It's not very steep. So, that's why it's... Actually, I think I can go there. It's not like very steep like some of the properties I have been. So this one is like in Tagalog we call it Pagapang because it's slowly going up or it's slowly going down. And over here you have a lot of Lansones trees. Okay, so last year harvest was 7,000 pesos. So if you're thinking that 7,000 pesos is still small for you, then I think you can just harvest it and and harvest it and sell it to your neighborhood. These are the Lansones fruits. So there are approximately 50 Lansones trees in the area which are already with fruit so it's actually very nice and let me tell you something I really love Lansones so, let's see so we are close to the river area I can already hear the water so okay oh. okay so this is the river area so you can see over there so the water is clean okay only you have to clean the debris here because there's a lot of this uh 
uh, wood, you know, like this. Coconut wood or something. So it's really, I have to go on the other side because I cannot see properly here. That's the water. It's not really a big river. So most likely a lot of people will consider it as a stream, you know. So it gets more water when it's raining very hard you know but generally speaking there's always water here so you can develop something here you can put like a small you can put like a small bahai kubo on that area and you just have to make some steps and then you will have your perfect bahai kubo along the river mas maganda river jan okay let us check Alena. Ah, ito na. Okay, so we are now at the border of the property. You can see this uh, trees here, the shrubs. Okay, so we are the border. And, okay, the coconut tree is included in the property going up to that point. Okay. So if we will just stay quiet, you will be able to hear the running water. It's nice, guys. And that will be your neighbor. Okay, guys. So if you are interested in this one hectare property with lots of fruit-bearing trees like uh, coconut trees, banana trees, avocado trees, lansones trees, and uh, some mahogany trees. So this property is for sale for 4 million pesos. And... You can send email at oli.arlene at gmail.com or you can visit my Facebook page at Arlene Lebandowski or you can send message, WhatsApp message or Viber message at 0917-621-4090 or you can try my smart number, that's a new one, at 0998-574-7194. You can check also the description box when it comes to the information about these properties. It's all listed over there. So thank you so much guys for watching and if you haven't subscribed to my video, please do subscribe. It helps a lot to support my scholarship program, okay? And stay safe everyone. I love you guys. Thank you. Bye. I love walking in this area, especially with the mountain. It's really nice. Bye, guys.